What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. I'm just gonna make this very fast video on how you can acquire 60 plus knowledge points in a relatively short amount of time because it's a question that I get asked constantly on my live stream. Now before we dive into it, big thank you for all the support on the 0 to 10 million gold guide. It's been absolutely insane with the release of the War Within, and I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying it. If you have no clue what it is, it's a gold guide that I started making over four years ago now, and I've been updating it ever since. It features the best tactics and methods that I personally use in order to achieve multiple gold caps, hundreds of millions of gold. So... If you pick it up with the link down below in the description right now, you can get it for 50% off using discount code STUDENT. So, uh, back to the video. Now, the most obvious thing that people will do is that people will pick up like treasure points around in the, uh, in the open world. So, there's many different ways of finding these treasure points, but you can use something uh, like handy notes which will, or rare scanner. And they can be marked on the map. So you can see where to pick up these uh, profession knowledge secrets uh, or treasures around in the world. Which each one of them will give you like three knowledge. And depending on the profession, there's like roughly eight, I believe it is, in the open world. So that's like 24 uh, knowledge points just from flying around in different cities and war within zones. And picking up these treasures. But that's obviously not going to be enough if you want to specialize into something like tailoring for farming. Where you need to max out textile treasures, quality fabric. And then it going into from dusk until dawn. Like that's going to be uh, over 60 points. So once you've picked up the treasures. Uh, the next step in order to get more knowledge points. Would be to open up your profession. If it's a crafting profession. And filter by first craft bonus because each time that you craft an item for the first time you will receive like a, a knowledge point so craft one of every single item with your profession just to get that knowledge point bonus now you can also buy different uh, recipes at vendors and the auction house to learn new ones if you really want to min max and get as many knowledge points as possible uh but it's not really needed if you're going for something as simple as a tailoring specialization for gold farming. Uh, then you want to go to the vendors that will sell you plus 10 knowledge points. And these are the ones that a lot of people aren't aware of. So, for instance, right here in the city of Dornogal, inside this building, I already made a video about how this NPC right here, Roldira, uh, will give you a quest, once per toon quest, that will give you a profession bag. Inside that profession bag, you will get various materials plus artisan's uh, acuity. Now, this is the material of interest, because if you head over to this vendor right here in the same building, you can see that you can use it to purchase multiple of these plus 10 knowledge points for every single profession. So... If you have enough of the Artisans, you can get 30 knowledge points from this vendor alone. Now, doing that quest with the bag only gives you enough to buy one of these. So you pick up 10 from this vendor. But then there is another vendor of interest. There's a currency in the zone of Askahet, which is called Cage. Cage. I'm not sure why they make the, uh, the names of these so hard to pronounce, but... Cage is a material that you can use to purchase a bunch of these uh, plus 10 knowledge point items. Like if you look at the uh, wallet page right here uh, from Cage, you can see that you can purchase uh, a big variety of items like this one. Increase your herbalism knowledge by 10, right? And there's one of these for every profession in the game. So right here, tailoring as well. And you purchase these from various vendors depending on which uh, profession you're with. But for instance, if you're going to deal with tailoring, you're going to go to the tailoring goods vendor in Askahet, which is located right here above this building down in the city of Treads. Now your question might be, how do you get this currency to be able to purchase these? Well, that's relatively simple on your main tune at least. Because as long as you've, you're level 80 and you reached at least Renown a Tree with this faction, the Weaver's Lair, 
you can simply go over to the quartermaster right there talk to the quartermaster and she's gonna like say congrats you've reached the uh this renown level and she's just gonna give you a bunch of these uh currency enough to purchase the plus 10 knowledge points you can also do various side quests in the zone in order to get the currency but it, it's enough by reaching renown 3 or renown 4 um and just talking to the quartermaster for this faction so that's how i was able to get over 60 knowledge points in like 10 minutes uh, just uh, by doing these things explained in this video so hopefully this was of interest uh, and helpful to a lot of you guys if you got any questions leave them down below if you like the video and you want to watch more videos like this one just make sure you're subscribed to the youtube channel and you'll be notified when the next video drops you can also consider signing up to the vip discord which is like a patreon but it's easier because everything happens on the discord server and all my youtube videos gets uploaded on discord before they go public on youtube but you also get access to exclusive content in forms of gold tips gold farms spreadsheets investments and much more on that discord so you can check that out in the description together with the gold guide and with that being said i appreciate you all watching and i'll see you all back in at the next video but until then bye bye